Hey, I'm Rugburn. James Rugburn. I should have just said, hi, I'm James Rugburn. Now it sounds like I'm doing some James Bond thing. Shut up. I'm Alice Griggs. Nice. Short and sweet. And I'm Luke LaRock. Damn, dog. You sound just like Rugburn. Well, that's because... da 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 I'm not talented. Who are you, Luke LaRock? And why are you here? Well, we have a record amount of new subscribers to the channel, and I wanted to answer any questions that people may have. A channel? Like a YouTube channel? Good question, Rugburn. The YouTube channel is called Pine Vinyl. Yeah, that's weird, though, because, like, that's our store that we own. So you have a YouTube channel about our store? It's actually more about you two and the people you encounter throughout your adventures. Adventures? So, like, are you filming us? No, not filming. I'm actually animating you guys. Animating? Then why don't we barely move? Da-da-da-da-da. Wait, wait, wait now. So you're saying we're just cartoon characters on some big YouTube channel? I never said big. How many subscribers do we got? W we? We got a turd in your pocket? Oh, damn, yeah. You must be writing this corny-ass shit, too, huh? With that divorce dad line? Come on. Are you writing our thoughts? Yeah. I'm your god. I made all this up. You know when you guys smoke magic weed and it kind of transforms your reality into things that would be impossible? I'm the one that makes that weed. I make it possible. Yes, I am your god. So you made me up? Yeah, you're mostly based actually on my best friend Swanee. Oh, right on. Was he like some cool black dude or some shit? No, not at all. He does like the Timberwolves, though, which is kind of a cool black dude thing to do. Do you do my voice? You goddamn right I do. Nah, I don't like that. Okay, like, I'm struggling with this. So, if you're writing all this, and everything is your creation, then aren't you just having one big weird conversation with yourself? Now you're a potbelly pig. Oh, yeah. I like this. That doesn't sound like a pig, though. Are you doing the sound effects for all this shit, too? All sound effects are done with my mouth. Yeah, I can tell. Do the Fruit Loop bird. A toucan? Yeah, shit, do three can if you want. Scrack! 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 Never heard a bird like that, but cool. Do 90s Martin Lawrence. Oh, damn, Gina! Damn, bit aggressive, but okay, all right. Whoa, what happened? Uh, yo, where'd that white dude go? I don't know, but I'm never smoking that magic weed again. Cartoons for stoners, we're at 30 now. 30. 30. 30. Hey, Alice, have you heard the new Bay song? Bay song? What you trying to say? Oh, I'm sorry. The new Beyonce song? You don't need to say it like that either. What did I tell you about calling black people other names? I don't care what you told me about it. I told you not to call black people other names. Remember? It doesn't matter. It does matter, though. How you know you're not saying something inappropriate? How is the word bay inappropriate? Because you said it. Cool logic, Ellis. Anyway, everyone's been saying that the new Beyonce song's a banger. Jesus H. Christ. I can say banger. I know that's where you're going with this. I can say banger. No, you can't. Why not? Is that another black-white thing? No, nah, it's because you're too old, dog. We're the same age. Yeah, and do you hear me running around saying banger all the time? Did you like the new Beyonce song or not? Yeah, it slaps. Oh, so we can say slaps? Damn, dude. That's inappropriate. God, I hate you so much. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about the Beyonce song, obviously. I kind of like that song, too. It actually sounds like a coherent song this time, rather than, you know, like their last two experimental albums? Are, uh, and he left. The Asshole Batman Strikes Again. Hey, Mom. What's up? Yeah. 
Yeah. That sucks for Dan. For how long? What? Why me? He has his own son. Why does he need me? No, I'm not. Stepson. Yeah, basically a stranger you do funerals with. Yeah. Okay, fine. I have to go to my mom's house. Dan threw his back out. I know you're there. I can see the little smoke puffs. Yeah, cool. Good luck with Dan. I'll be here. Fuck you. Yep. All right, I'm here. What do you need? Oh, yeah. Hey there, Jim. Yeah, real good. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I was fixing the drop downs in the basement bathroom, you know, and uh, Ben all kitty wampus. Messed up my goddamn back, you yep, know? Yep, got it. Uh, yeah, so mom said you needed me to help while she was gone today? What do you need me to do? Because if it's picking you up off the couch, I'll be honest with you. I'm not that strong. Oh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock? <laughs> Jeez, Christ. If I needed muscles, I'd ask your black buddy. Yeah, whoa, Dan. Uh, they don't like it when you say how strong they are. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, okay? What do you need me to do, Dan? Yeah, well, I called you instead of Cal because, uh... Yeah, why did you call me? Why didn't you call your real son? Well, God damn it! yeah, I'm trying to tell ya, okay? Uh, for Christ's sakes. I called you because, well, uh... You always smell like weed. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I was hoping, uh... Maybe you could... Maybe you could borrow me some, you know, and maybe it would help with my back. Well, worth a try, huh? For real? You want to get high with me? Get with with you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, we should. Uh, that be doing it together. You know, yeah. We can. Uh, then you can uh, make me lunch. Heat me up some of uh, my rotisserie chicken. Got that in the fridge, you know. And uh, I got a pouch of potatoes. It's just the powder potatoes, you know. But the, God damn it, they're just as good, aren't they? Ooh. I got the garlic kind. You're going to like those, okay? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, boy. You know, I used to do this stuff in high school, but I'd get real goofy on it. That's the point, Dan. Weed makes the goofy okay. Wow, yeah. Hey, you're kind of smart, I suppose, you know? Yeah, I mean, I should have suspected it with those glasses that you wear. <laughs> those square fucking glasses you wear. Oh, sorry about that. I don't use that word. <laughs> what word? Now, oh, fuck. I don't like it. Yeah, my ma used to say it all the time. I'd be like, ma, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Everyone always assumes I'm smart because of the glasses. I love watching them slowly discover the truth in real time. You can just see their excitement as they realize, yeah, I'm way fucking smarter than this guy. <laughs> I use the fuck word all the time, Dan. Yeah, it makes it sound dumb, though, you know? Yeah, maybe. Hey, you wanna go into town and mess up some shit? What was that now? Hey, Jamie, look! I'm one of those NBA guys. Hey, Jamie, look! I'm one of those coconut guys. Hey, look at me, Jamie. I'm one of those casino guys. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm one of I'm one of those other casino guys. <laughs> hey, James. What am I? Um, what am I right now? Bob Ross. No. God damn it. I'm that painter guy. They used to be on PBS. Remember that? Used to be right after that Cosby show. Remember that uh, pinwheel or whatever that f 
Kale used to watch it. Remember that guy? He painted those mountains, lakes, and all that stuff. One of those nice guys. Bob Ross. Yup, that guy. Hey, Jamie, look. I'm that super holes guy. Thanks so much, Ellis. Yeah, look. Look at me, Jamie. I'm one of those fat white women. Previously on Pine Vinyl. Yo, say Nick, don't you know Christmas is over? Get in the van. What the hell is happening right now? We got kidnapped by an old drunk. I ain't drunk, Kobe. No, I know. You have dementia. It's a disease. Don't call me Kobe. Hi, I'm Willie Williams. I'm here with all the new Taylor Swift merch. I, I said Swift, I meant Swift. Taylor Swift merch. Wait, you're chained to the floor. Whoa, I am too. He kept saying I have some disease or something. Weird. He forgot. Boy, we're in a real pit. You boys ever, you ever been in the bottom of a well? A well? I thought we were digging holes. All right, I forgot. I know, it's the dimension. What do you say dimension? And we have a counter display. We'll put it right here. Oh, you little scoundrels. This is the house. Old man has a basement full of vinyl he wants to give away. It looks like the kind of house people go to take a shit on the floor. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool looking. We also think Taylor Swift's attractive. Shut up, gross. No, I don't. Ugh. Hello, we're here for the old records in the cellar. Excellent, God, come on in. What the fuck, old creeper chained us up in his basement? Hey, Cheech and Black Chong, enjoying your stay? Oh, hey, I remember you. You kidnapped us a few years ago. Oh, yeah, you put us in your molester van and but forgot to lock the door. <laughs> How have you been, man? I've been fine. Too bad you two are gonna get fucked. You're creepy as shit, man. Yeah, probably. Do you take any medications for your condition? Yeah, I do. I take uh, four fuck yous every morning. <laughs> hey, Ellis. Are you excited for the Super Bowl? Not really. I want Lamar Jackson to get his ring, but it wasn't in the script, I guess. What script? The NFL is scripted out, just like a Royal Rumble, dog. You didn't know? Really? I thought they were all playing to win. Yeah, they are, dude, but guess what? You got refs with fetishes and players with deadishes. Check it. They know we know, and guess what they do? Guess who who do? Guess what the NFL do? Guess what they do? They put the colors of the chosen two teams in the logo of the Super Bowl for the next year, right? Like, so, like, next year they got their logo, right? And there's colors in it. The two colors are usually the teams that'll be into that Super Bowl, but they make them like a year in advance. How do you tell me that? So the logo predicted this year's Super Bowl? Well, not this, this year it went a little funny, but whatever. So every year, but this year? Yeah, but there's more to it, dog. You just don't understand and I don't have the time to explain it. All right, it's true. Just trust me, it's true. Holy cow, look who it is. Hey y'all, just wanted to stop in and say- Nope, 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 we don't do this. Nope, we're not doing it. Move to the next part, now. Hello, old man. How can I help you? You remember me? Uh, can't say that I do. Wow, maybe you forgot. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I did. Hmm. Uh, do you remember him, Ellis? Uh, a little bit. It's something weird, isn't it, right? You're kind of weird. I'm not weird to me. Yeah, I'm maybe remembering. I don't know. Are you here because of the help wanted sign? Uh, yeah. Uh, when can I start? <clears throat> Next morning. All right, today is new stock day, so we need to move all the old new releases out and fill it with the new new releases. Plus, we need to file the trade-ins. You still don't remember me? Uh, no, I don't. But when you keep asking me that, it, it's a little off-putting. New stock goes in and the old stock goes out. Got it. <clears throat> Perfect. Hey, have you seen DJ? Is he the blue-haired guy that screams like a girl? Uh, blue hair, yes. Not sure about the screaming. 
Hey, can I see your ID real quick? No, I didn't bring it, but I got my business card. <sighs> Santa Dong? No, it's Santa Doug. I told that dumb fucking guy it was a bad font. What's your last name, Doug? Uh, Holes. Your name's Doug Holes? Yep, that's me. Where's Ellis? Is he the black one who hates dull knives? Half black, actually. It doesn't everyone hate dull knives? You still don't remember me? No, where's Jenny? Is she the thick one who hates the sight of blood? Got it. You're the serial killer. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, you remember. Yeah, I'm actually a little embarrassed that I hired you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know your name. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't even looking for a job. <laughs> I got one. Yeah, my bad, 100%. Yeah, uh, hey, where is everyone, though, for real? Are they, like, locked in a shitty cage somewhere? Yep, in the basement. Uh, Jenny's gonna be so pissed at me. Well, uh, what do you want? Want me to cut her fucking head off? I was waiting until after lunch, but... Dug holes. Like, you dig holes for bodies. <laughs> oh, now he gets it, huh? <laughs> now he gets it. <laughs> yeah, I totally missed that before, yeah. Well, fuck, dude. I mean, you sure you don't need a job? I mean, I kind of enjoy your offbeat, you know... Oh, unlock a bill. Unlock. oh, shit, right. Hey, where did he go? Yo, I got a new grinder, and this stuff is fine as hell, okay? So don't burn the whole thing like you always do. Uh, what's that now? When you light this bowl, just hit a small spot, okay? Don't burn up the whole thing. Okay, thanks. Never done this before. So, uh, thanks, Mr. Miyagi. I appreciate all your help, huh? After I light it, what do I do? Suck it or something? Yeah, you be sucking a curb, you smart mouth mo. Why don't you take the first hit? I think you need it a little more than I. Yeah, you're probably right. It's been a long morning. Yeah, it has been. The fun part of working with the married couple is when you guys fight, it's super awkward for everyone. Even DJ hates it. Hey, Ellis, Jenny keeps looking back to see if you're looking at her and then growling quietly like an angry gummy bear. I think she's going to attack you. Don't worry, Ellis. I have bear spray. Oh, Long fucking morning. But now it's time for daddy's medicine. Oh, shit. Damn, it went in between the seat and like that buckle thing. I need that lighter, dog. Oh, no, that lighter's gone. You'll never get that back. I'll just run into the store and grab another one. No, I need that lighter. That's my lucky lighter. Lucky lighter? You don't have a lucky lighter. I need that lighter back. Well, too bad, because it fell into the El Camino hole. Have you ever heard of the El Camino hole, Ellis? You haven't? Well, it's a lot like the Bermuda Triangle. Have you ever heard of the Bermuda Triangle? You're gonna stop talking like that. It's gone, Ellis. No, you're just not thinking about it. This is what we need. We need something long, with like a hook, right? Maybe something we could bend at the end, like a- clothes a hanger? Useless. I tried that back in 2011 when I lost a packed bowl to the El Camino hole. Ended up losing the whole clothes hanger as well. Maybe like a strong rod, right? Like- Maybe something sticky at the end, like, uh, maybe with the- Chewed a... bubblegum? Yeah, there's a lot of that down there, too. I need that lighter back. What's so special about that lighter, anyway? It was a gift from Jenny, and she got it engraved, okay? And it's special. Do you need to know more? Maybe. How about we come up with a plan? Time for a plan. What do you got? Uh, I actually got a plan. <laughs> I've thought about this, uh, for many, many years. But- it's a long shot. I need that ladder back, so give it to me. What is it? First, you have to tell me, what did she have engraved in it? Tell me your goddamn plan right now. Okay, well, it's pretty simple. We shrink down and spurlunk. What is spurlunk? Cave. Cool. Let's do it. Uh, I'm not sure you heard me right. Uh, the first thing we need to do is shrink down. Yeah. Did you hear that part? I did. Let's go. What are we doing? Let's uh, DJ to shrink us down, right? Oh, yeah, probably. No one can. 
All right, guys, I'm going to blast you with my shrink gun. Unfortunately, it only lasts for five minutes. At that time, you will rapidly grow to normal size, so don't be in a tight spot. That's a great invention, DJ. How'd you come up with it? Originally, it wasn't a shrink ray. It was to make things bigger. Rugburn wanted his ding-dong bigger and harder, Shut so the fuck up, DJ! No one asks you. Okay, just do the ring, do the shrink ray. God damn it. All right, before you go, remember this one very important thing. When you come... <laughs> Oh my god, it actually worked! Yeah, alright. Are you going down first? No, this is all you. Uh, wonder what Didier is trying to warn us about. No idea. Alright, later. <laughs> Holy cow, this is crazy. We're inside the El Camino hole. We're under your car seat. Alright, stop making it so magical. Now, where's that lighter? And side note, do you smell all that weed? Yeah, look over there. All the packed bowls that sprinkled over the edges. And a lot of french fries. And a lot of french fries. Hey look, my high school condom. Damn dog, maybe this is a cave. Those look like stalactites to me. Stalagmites? And no, they're not either. Those are boogers. That's all snot from, from years of, well, you know. Nasty ass. Well, we need to start looking for that lighter, because we only have five minutes, and I think we've already burned through half of that, right? Well, I'm assuming it's over there in that dark, scary area. Well, I wish you all the luck, because I am not going in there. Hurry up. All right, yeah, okay. I'm not scared of that shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, dang, that's a spot. <laughs> We need to get out of here right now, otherwise we're going to get normal-sized under the seat and we'll be trapped here forever. Yeah, all right, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, motherfucker, are we trapped in a spider web? Oh, this is bad. Oh, I hate your disgusting car so much. We wouldn't be here if you didn't have such a hard-on for that stupid lighter. It's not a stupid lighter, motherfucker, and I told you why. It's special to me, all right? What if Clara got you something special? What if you lost that thing, right? What if you've already disappointed her, right? I need that ladder back. But now we're gonna die in this fucking spiderweb. Well, I got a plan, Ellis. Swing your legs, okay? Like a gymnast. Back and mm. forth, all right? Yeah. Faster, back mm -hmm. and forth, all right? It's working, we're loosening. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ellis, we gotta run now and get to the light. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> oh, we made it. And we're totally fucking naked. That's what I was telling you. Damn, I didn't get that ladder back, did I? Uh, are you sure about that, Ellis? Wait, what the hell does it say? Biggest balls of all? She didn't get you that. No, I bought this. It's my big balls ladder. I needed it back. Why are you guys still on break and oh my god, why are you both naked? Don't worry, Alice. I got this. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, today is my barf mitten. What was that, DJ? Today is my barf mitten. Did you say barf mitten? Barf mitten. Hmm. Not sure what he's trying to say here, exactly. It's a big day for me. The barf mitten is a big day for you. Really big, but only for you. It's just for me. It's my barf mitten. Wait, are you trying to say bar mitzvah? Okay. Bro, I thought you were a Quaker. I am. In the name of the creamy flavored oats. DJ, you have to be Jewish to be in a bar mitzvah, and you have to be like 13 years old, I think, or something. It's been a whole dickwad. Oh, we got a new word. Uh, dickwad? What are we using dickwad for? I've been working for a dickwad. A dickwad? Are you calling, you calling Rugburn a dickwad? Because I know you're not calling me a dickwad. I got it. Ellis, I've just figured it out. Let me know when you get it. Oh, damn, for real? All right. 
Today is DJ's big day. His Quaker bar mitzvah. Uh, and he is working for a dickwad. The fuck is a dickwad? Uh, give me a clue. We should have a dickwad party. Damn, that's not a good clue. And I'm not having no party like that. Do you give up? Now let's just give up. DJ is celebrating his 10-year work anniversary. He has been at Pine Vinyl for a decade. Decade. Uh, is that correct, DJ? I don't know. Yes, today is DJ's big day. I told him we'd have a party in honor of his 10 years of service. Good job, DJ. Nice work, dude. Yeah, for real, man. That's awesome. God, it's... I can't believe it's been 10 years since you walked through that door. Remember how weird that day was? Yeah, sort of. Wasn't it like a... Wait, what happened? I don't think I ever heard either. How did DJ start at Pine Vinyl? It was right when we started to open the doors, remember? We were still putting stuff on the shelves. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Rogues, how does this uh, curtain look? Damn, that's really orange, isn't it? Pretty bright. Yeah, it is. You know what? I'll change it tomorrow. Yeah, let's not have that stick around for the whole time. Hello? Are you guys even open? I haven't seen any customers, so I wasn't sure. What the fuck are you doing here? Wait, aren't you, uh, Calvin Hagurski from, uh, Happy Valley, right? Yeah. I own the coffee shop around the corner. It's called Earth Mud Coffee and Book Lounge. Boy, that's a stupid fucking name. I was really excited when I found out the old Harris Furniture Store was turning into a vinyl shop. But then I heard Jamie Rugburn was the owner. Co-owner? What are you, some big city hipster or some shit? Yeah, Hipster Cal, on patrol, making sure his shit don't stink since 1996. Fuck you and your bullshit coffee shop name. You are officially banned from Pine Vinyl forever. Yo, wait on that, though, because, like, we don't have any customers, dogs. We can't be turning anything down. That's okay. You guys probably don't carry anything I'd actually be interested in purchasing anyway. Why is that? Because you're so cool, Cal? Because you're not. Because you're fucking not. Try me, you rat bastard. I got the album you're looking for. Just say it. What is it? What album are you looking for? I guarantee you we have it. Fine. Do you have There's No Leaving Now by the tallest man on earth? Yep, we got it. But for real though, how are we gonna get customers, dog? We need to get this shit going, right? Make some money? Just be patient, okay? We just started. Uh, maybe we should do some uh, radio interviews. I could line some up next week. Why don't you let me be on the radio though? Because, like, uh, you're not gonna be good on that. What are you basing that on? I've never even been interviewed before. Just the way you are. Always, all the time. Hey, who's the old guy over there? Oh, damn, damn, where'd he come from? Hey, can I help you find anything? It's you I'm looking for, Rugburn. How'd you know my name? In one minute, a man will come in trying to rob you. He will accidentally shoot Ellis in the stomach, and while scrambling to leave in a panic, he will shoot you as well. Neither of you will survive. I do not like old people. Oh. What are you talking about you don't like old people? Why don't you like old people? Don't base it all on this guy. This guy's nuts. It's very important you live, Rugburn. You will one day have a very important job. I have a very important job. I am the owner of Pine Vinyl. Co-owner. Yeah, co-owner. So, unless you're going to buy something, I think you need to leave. There's no leaving now. Wait, what'd you say? Everybody down, this is a rock. <laughs> Holy shit, man. You saved our lives. 
Yeah, man. For real, thank you. How can we repay you? That's easy. A man will walk in after I leave. Hire him. He means well, although a little slow still. Yeah, sure. No problem. It was good seeing you guys again. So long for now. Hey, guys. I know you. You're DJ from high school, right? The dude that burned down that Taco John's? Hi. An old man outside told me to ask you for a job. Nice, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we're, not, we're not currently hiring, and you did burn down that Taco John's, and we just opened this place, so... <laughs> Oh, God, okay, yeah, 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 he's hired, he's hired. Hey, DJ, uh, first thing is, can you, you see that body? Can you, like, drag that shit into the, into the, like, backyard area? It's called an alley in the city. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird day. We never did see that old man again, did we? No, we did not. Wait, wait, wait now. Okay, so an old man murdered someone and DJ dragged the dead body into the alley? And that's how he got the job? What the fuck? Ellis, did I eat a gummy earlier? Yeah, you had like a whole worm. It was like a big sugary worm thing you ate. Yup, I remember now. Oh, no. Oh, DJ. The old man was DJ. From the future, he came back. That's who the old man is. Did you get that already? Yeah, I kind of did. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't really make any sense to me, but I kind of lost interest, so... Look, I have barf mittens. Dr. Brownfur. Yeah. Eight seconds. Word. <laughs> DJ, are you here? DJ. Are you sure this is the place? Yeah. It's the only old fireworks factory in Minneapolis. Wait, it's a what now? This place used to make fireworks, long time ago. Yeah, if you look around, you can see all the abandoned, but probably still very effective fireworks. Well, damn, dog. Right? Right? Just don't worry about it, Ellis. Just don't worry about it. You're saying it weird. You're making me worry because you're saying it weird. Nothing to worry about, just don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to leave then, fuck you. Oh, damn. Who's the glowing Twizzler bee? I don't know, Ellis. This isn't good, though. This doesn't really seem like something a pelican can solve, right? Like, this dude is straight up glowing. Right? Doesn't it seem like his inner core is actually glowing, producing its own, like, yeah, light source? Yeah, whatever. Looks freaky to me. I bet he can shoot it at us. Shoot what? His glowing shit? Yeah, like he can ball it up and just like whip it at us. Like that's his. Like if he was a final boss, we'd have to dodge his glowing red balls. No, this dude stretches. This motherfucker stretches, I guarantee you. Those long ass glowworm arms are gonna come at us. Ooh, that's gonna be scary as shit, too. Damn, when I think about it, I don't want him to do that. I really don't want him to do that. Like, why the fuck did this happen to us? Yeah, I was just wondering the same thing. Things are a bit hazy. Per the usual. Uh, hey, there's DJ up in that chair. Hey, guys. I got kidnapped by a dog wiener man. Dog wiener man? Why do you call... Oh. Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> was he speaking some other language or something? <laughs> oh, shit, he come that motherfucker on. Oh, damn, somebody help, help. DJ, eat this gummy. 
Hey. Someone come get Ragu Man. Don't worry, Alice. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just like I thought, pellets aren't really a great weapon for this battle. Don't worry, Rugburn, I got this. <laughs> you did it, DJ. You killed the Red Man. You can't call him Red Man. There's only one Red Man. Oh, yeah, yep, there sure is only one Red Man. Only one. Which Red Man am I talking about? What do you mean, which one? There's only one, right? You own a record store, so you should definitely know. Oh, is he a rapper? Okay, yeah, well, there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Pause, you guys, I'd start running. Oh, this is a trap, isn't it, DJ? Fireworks, right? Fireworks? Yeah. You better run. Fireworks! I knew it! Hey, DJ, why you got red aliens chasing you? I don't know. I think his gummy wore off. Oh, damn, he's back. And it's up to us to stop him. All right, if fire won't kill him, maybe something else will. That's it. I got it. Maybe if I take these pellets and I use the snow here, that's it. I'll cool him down. Just drop the temperature just enough. Yeah. Okay. So long, red man. You're about to feel a bit of a draft. And yeah, that obviously didn't fucking work. Okay, DJ, just eat another gummy. No. Why do you smell like gunpowder? I was doing gangster shit. Okay. Maybe we cut ice cream like we don't eat ice cream after 8.30 or something. We gotta start something. It's every night. Mr. Kandish needs a napper now. Nine nine. You take long showers. Ah, no, Clara. What are you doing? It'll be okay. I just wanted to ask you something and figure this is a good time as any. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do warnings, though, from now on, okay? Why? I pooped a little. Well, good place for it. I noticed you skipped your salad last night. Maybe you were experiencing some diet-based leakage? I was scared, Clara. You scared the shit out of me. Why does that make me happy? <laughs> Not sure, but remind me to get some Ajax later at the store. What did you want to ask me? I don't remember. What, were you pooping? Okay, okay. Uh, maybe we should discuss some boundaries. I'm so glad I'm done with hospitals. 12 hour shifts were killing me. Yeah, you seem much more relaxed now. I smoke a lot more weed now. I seem to have that effect on people. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Rugburn. I mean, Dr. Rugburn. I would say let's have a quickie before you go to the hardware store, but I'm on my period, sorry. You always do that. Do what? That. Okay. Okay. You're listening to K-Boom 102.9. Beautiful Saturday ahead, especially for those getting errands done. We just heard the Love Skulls with 
the 2020 single Bumping Into the Pyramids. If I may add, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Bumping Into Pyramids. I once traveled to Egypt with my then-girlfriend, now ex-fiance, Jenny. We were taking pictures, and I walked a little bit out of the little designated area. They had to let you stand when you want to take a selfie with the pyramids in the background, and uh, you would have thought I just threw a Molotov cocktail into a preschool. My gosh. Anyway, uh, Jenny is reportedly happily married, and guess what? So am I. Jenny, so am I. Next up, Tom Petty in Running Down a Dream. That couldn't be our Jenny, could it? I always thought this DJ was white. Hello, welcome to Howie's Hardware. How can I help you? Oh, I bet you hate saying that. Right? Um, I just have a plumbing question, actually. Hold on, Joe's the only one who knows plumbing, but he is with a customer right now. What you need? Oh, thanks. Uh, I just need some tubing for a uh, humidifier on my furnace. That's not plumbing. Have the floor kid cut you some fucking tube. Jesus H. Christ. Next. The next hour of commercial free broadcasting is sponsored by Pine Vinyl Records on 46 in Chicago. Hey, that's us. I didn't know we did a radio ad. This is actually a new sponsorship for the channel that I just learned about right before we went on air. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you, viewer, listener. I mean, apparently my former fiancé, Jenny, who we were just talking about moments ago, is the marketing director at Pine Vinyl Records, the new sponsor. So you can imagine... This whole morning has been a lot for me. Uh, I can't stop thinking about her. Um, I keep mentioning her. Uh, mistakes that I've made. But, I'm a man. And more importantly, I'm a professional. And I will do their company ad read exactly the way it was written, as is mandatory, per my contract. Which the lawyer here at KBoom102.9 just explained to me, so um, I will read this now. <clears throat> Pine Vinyl Records wants to remind you in Radioland when you want to impress the woman you love, don't be a total loser and sleep with one of your co workers at the KBoom102.9 weekend retreat. No, don't be like that. Be a real man and treat your woman right by being faithful and caring. Also helps to have a much bigger penis and a deeper, richer voice. Hmm. Pine Vinyl, 46 in Chicago. Open President's Day. What? No, I don't want to work Monday. I got the new tube for the humidifier, the one that popped off. Um, hey, what are you doing? What are you reading? Oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that one. Hey, did the guy end up killing his maid? I still think they made a Netflix show about this book. Right? I'm reading, I... I'm reading, I'm reading. Oh, of course, you're right, sorry. I'm gonna go fix the furnace. Oh shit, it's the wrong size tube. I know I should have measured or taken a picture or something of it. Arr! Hey. I gotta run back to the hardware store. Uh, when I went, there was this guy, and he was super mean. It is Joe. He's, like, the only plumbing guy, and he sent me back to the floor kit. And I, oh, I just got a text. It's from you. I love you, but you need to shut the fuck up. Okay. All right, Minnesota. It's time to learn what is going on in the Twin Cities tonight. At the F. Scott, we have the semifinals of the Voice of the North battle where the best karaoke singers go head-to-head. -head. Uh, this event is sponsored by... A, by a Pine Vinyl Records. Hmm, uh... Oh, I see they have another ad read ahead. Okay, wonderful. I was not prepared for this emotionally. Uh, I thought we were just moving on from this... But as the K-Boom 102.9 lawyer is gesturing to me, I must read the ad as written, so, uh... <clears throat> Pine Vinyl Records is such a great record store, but the real story is how much I'm scared of dwarfs. 
Um, Jerry, I can't. I know, but I... Wait, who the hell is that? Why is there a 40-year-old child in the booth, Jerry? No, tell me that's a child, Jerry! Hey, you cut me the wrong size tube. What? A half hour ago, you cut me some tube. It was too big. What size should it be? Ah, oh, God damn it! Well, folks, it looks like my time at the station has come to an end. I have let my emotions take over, and I want to apologize to everyone, especially the dwarf community. If I could take back today, I would. Um, if I could say one more thing... Uh, no? What? Why? Why? You worried I'll say fuck? I forgot to bring the tube, just keep reading, who cares? Why are you back? Couldn't you figure out a little bitty piece of fucking tube? Jesus H. Christ. Oh, thank God. Thanks for doing all those errands today, baby. You deserve some proper loving. I'd throw you down on the bed and rock your world. But I know. I know. Okay... Hey, I got you something. Oh, what is it? Diamonds? Pearls? Better. <gasps> Shamrock Shake! So much better! Oh, thank you, baby. Why am I so lucky? Well, I guess I got inspired by something Ellis did for Jenny today. Oh, that's sweet. Ellis is a good role model for you. I love you, Ruggers. I love you more, Clairbers. What did Ellis do for Jenny? Just something nice. Uh... Just something nice. <laughs>